Hello, this is Isaac, and in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can fetch posts from the WordPress API with Vue.js, and I'm going to also show you how you can paginate the results. So we're going to focus on this endpoint, right? This is the WordPress documentation for the REST API, and here are a list of arguments we can use, and as you can see, it's very clear. We're going to use page and per page, but once you know how to do it, then it's going to be easy. If you want to follow along, you can download this starter team with Vue.js integrated. Uh, also, it's, it's a new one actually that I made with hot module reload, so you can try it out. You have here instructions how to use it. So uh, let's begin. I just have here some basic boilerplate and I'm importing a post component, which I haven't done anything with it yet, aside of some HTML. This is a Axios, an Ajax library that you need to install to make Ajax calls. And here I'm globally registering the post component. This is the main view instance. The element is the app ID, which is here. And this is how I'm calling the post component. And this is the component, just basic HTML. And no view yet, aside of these uh, few lines. And this is how it looks like. Okay, so no posts were found at the moment. So what do we need? So we need basically to uh, render these table rows with posts. So the first thing we need to do is to configure our data object. Because remember with view.js everything works, everything is object, there's no interaction with the DOM. You only deal with JavaScript objects, arrays, variables, and so on. So I'm going to paste here some code, and here it is. So we have here the post URL, which is my, just my domain. And this is the endpoint, the post endpoints. And the post at first is going to be an empty array. And the post data is the params that we're going to send, the arguments. So per page 10 and pages 1, actually the default is 10, so we're going to make it 15, just to prove it to you that it's working. Okay. And But now we need actually a method to actually get those posts. So we're going to call it get posts. All right, and I'm going to simply uh, have here some Axios snippet. So we're going to make a GET request, and I use this POST URL, and these are going to be the params. This is just a convention of the Axios library, so you can read your documentation. And we're going to pass it this, that POST data, the page and the per page. And then we're going to assign the POST to the this.POST. So let's save this. and. Actually, we need to hook into a lifecycle event. It's mounted. And once I'm here, then I'm going to get the post. Let's save this. And we're getting an error. Let's see what's the error. This that get post is not a function. That's right. It should be methods. Okay, so there's no error. Now, if we open our view uh, dev tools, and here, uh, here are all the posts. So it's working. Right? We're actually getting the post. We have here the date, uh, GMT, the uh, the ID of the author, the title, rendered. So it's working actually. You see how easy this was. And by the way, here among the instructions, you can see where to download the view dev tools. It's very important for debugging and just seeing that everything is working. Okay, so we have the post, but now we need to render it here. So it's going to be very simple. We have a v4 binding po a post in post, actually. And I just want to show the title and the date. So the title is going to be uh, Post that rendered. Yeah, I don't know why they use this. Why it's not just not post that title? It's kind of weird. And we're gonna have your post. Uh, I think it was date uh, GMT or just date. Doesn't really matter actually. Let's see if we're getting anything. Oh, actually, it was post title rendered. Yeah, my mistake. Oh, here it is, all the titles, and it looks like it's 15. 
Let's just make sure it's working and let's just do a one. And we have one. You can see how easy it can become. You can pass this as a property and just, you know, whatever you want. You can have a select field that will change it over and over again. So we have 15, but we don't have pagination yet, right? So this is very bad for us. We want to show all the posts for our users. So we need to configure the pagination, but first we need to know what kind of pagination we want. So I'm going to paste this in here. So in the pagination, we want to have a previous page, we want to have a next page, total pages, from to and total. Okay. And we need to have a method that would conf config the pagination. Now, um, if we take a look at WordPress, uh, I want to console.log the response. Console.log it. And you see it's going to pass some headers. And we have here the total amount of uh, posts and the total pages. We, we actually, uh, we're going to use both of them. Okay, so I'm actually going to call this.config pagination and I want to pass it the response headers. And I'm just going to paste here a basic snippet. Um, this is basically just going to configure the pagination, like from to. Uh, it's just basic JavaScript. I don't want to spend too much time on it. You can just read it on your free time. But this is it, basically. I'm just configuring what's going to be the next page, the previous page. It's very, very simple. And here I'm getting it from the headers. And this plus sign is just to make it an integer. It's like just, It's like parse hint percent so let's see if we're getting any kind of error and no but we still need to show it in the view so now I'm gonna show you here another introduce another uh, paradigm in view.js and that's child components so we're gonna create another component that way we can reuse it if we want to we're gonna call this pagination component so let me just quickly render it here pagination.view Uh, I'm just going to paste it so you can see how it works. This I'm using the Bulma library, so this is just their styling, but that's the pagination component. First, let me import it, and then I'm going to explain it. So because this is a very specific uh, component, I don't want to globally register it like this one, like post. There's no need for it, because I'm only going to use it under some kind of parent, in this case, the post parent. So I'm just going to import it from a pagination.view but I, in order to use it I actually have to render it inside the components uh, property and this is just going to be the name I can actually name it however I, uh, however I want to but I'm just gonna call it pagination and I'm just gonna render it here and now currently I'm probably gonna get an error yeah so in this component, uh, all, all I want is a property called pagination because I need to know what's going to be the front page, the two page, the total. And these are configured here on the parent component. So I just need to pass it. That's it. The, this component is not going to uh, compute anything. All it just wants data. That's all. So I'm going to pass it the pagination property just like this. And, okay, it's not working. The reason it's not working is because, well, like I said, this is, all, this is not really doing much except of uh, showing the view. Let's take a look here and read. So here I'm stating the from, the to, and the total, uh, which we can see here. Okay, from, to, and the total pages. Now we have here some uh, conditional rendering. So if there is a previous page, we're going to show it. If not, it's going to be uh, disabled. What you see here is disabled. Same thing for here for the next page. But notice something nice here. So if I click on it, I'm going to emit a prev. Now, in view.js, uh, there is passing data from parents to children. 
via properties, just like I'm doing here. I'm passing a property. But if I want to communicate between a child to a parent, then in this case, I have to emit events. And that way, that parent can listen to these events. So here I'm emitting a previous event. And here I'm emitting a next event. So I need to listen to these. Just like I'm, it's the same thing like I'm listening to a click event. So this is going to be previous and next. So it's going to be very simple. You'll be surprised. So here it is. That's it. I'm listening to the previous event. In this case, when this is happening, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to decrement the pagination.priv page. And I'm going to get the posts. Because remember, these are rendered from the server. So we're going to need to make another call. So this is one. Just going to copy it. And we have the next. And in this case, I'm going to increment Oh, I'm sorry, uh, that was wrong. I need to decrement and increment the current page because that's what I'm passing to WordPress. These will be updated automatically when I configure the pagination. So yeah, that should be it actually. Let me save this. If I click next, 16 to 30, if I click next, 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 next. See, disabled, no more pages. Hello world. And it's working. Next, next, previous. If we'll open the view dev tools and let's take a look at our pagination and this is the post data, this is our pagination. And if we click next, you will see the numbers are changing. To 101, total pages is seven. If I'm going to change the number to 10, for example, which is the default, by the way. Still working. So let's make a small recap. OK, first of all, as you can see, this is very easy. This is why I like Vue.js and compared to React, for example. React is a very good uh, library, but it makes you work much harder to achieve things. That's, that's the difference, very low level. Here we had a post component, okay? This is the HTML. When this is mounted, when everything is ready, all the data is ready, I'm going to call this method, this.getPosts. We're using the Axios library to make an API call to WordPress. This is our URL. This is the parameters that we are passing. I can pass other parameters as well. Once we get the response, this that response response that data this is basically going to be our post i'm going to assign it to the post everything here is reactive so when i change it it will reflect here in the dom so this is our list rendering we're rendering the post then we need to have pagination so first of all we need to configure the pagination and this is it so we have a total pages we're going to have just a basic you can just go and read it basic configuration. And once this is configured, we're going to have this pagination component and we're going to pass it a pagination property with a previous and next event listeners. So this pagination basically accepts the pagination property. And once it accepts it, then it's going to render all of these. So if, if there's a previous page, we're going to show it. And if the user clicks on it, we're going to emit a previous event to the parent, which is the post component. Same thing for the next. And here I'm just listening to it, right? I'm listening to the previous page and then I'm just on the spot. Look how elegant this is. On the spot, I'm decrementing and on the spot, I'm calling get post. No need to register another method to do this. And that's very clear. So you can imagine how you can develop on it. Okay, like this is this is just very simple. I mean, this specific is not really useful. Uh, I mean, I'm not even linking to the post itself. But you can imagine how nice this would work. Okay, so hopefully you enjoyed this uh, short snippet and you will go start learning Vue.js. Yeah, have a good day.